Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Welcome to the DCIKZ Life Series. My name is Wangashi Moniki. Now in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 2, I'm going to read, it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. The call of the believer is to lay aside every weight and every sin and run the race set before him with endurance. Many of the times the biggest mistake as believers we make is thinking that this race we can do it by ourselves. We think we can just wake up one day and ace everything and say no to sin and say no to our flesh without the work of Jesus, without looking into Jesus, without turning our eyes upon Jesus. The writer of Hebrews is encouraging us and telling us, even as you're running this race, even as you're saying no to the flesh, even as you're saying no to sin, even as you're saying no to this weight that so easily clings to us, and even as you're running this race, you're looking unto Jesus. Why? Because he's gone before us and he's done it for us. We can learn from him. Jesus is the greatest example for the believer. And so my encouragement to you, dear believer, this um, beautiful day, is that you'd continue to turn your eyes upon Jesus, that you'd continue to look unto him, the author and finisher of our faith, that you'd look into him, look to him, so that he'll help you and encourage you to run this race. And realize you're not alone. The writer of Hebrews again says that we have a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, encouraging us, cheering us on, and then we can be able to run the race. But do not forget looking unto Jesus, turning our eyes and fixing our eyes on Jesus us because he's the only one who allows us and enables us to keep standing thank you and barack man